Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Adrian and I am a student at Chamberlain University. Um, it is so good to see you guys. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the new year, new session, same stuff. Um, it's, it's good to be busy again, I guess, and get back into the swing of things. Um, today's video, I'm gonna be talking about community health or NR442. Last year, last session in December, um, November, December session, um, I took um, community health and I took it by itself. Um, community health is relatively easy. It's like probably one of the easiest courses. Um, of course, it's not a course that you should like, you know, underestimate. Um, if you know what I mean, like, you know, you still got to Still gotta put in some effort into it as usual, um, but it is a relatively easy course, I will say. Um, I would recommend, um, like before you take community, community health is a good class, I would say, for you to take um, any other classes that you need to take. Like for example, if you need to take um, like evidence-based or um, classes like that, like online classes, um, community health is definitely a good class for you to take those other, like, nursing courses with, because I'm taking evidence-based now, um, so I'm like, I could have taken it then, but, you know, it is what it is either way, but a lot of people took community health with, like, other classes, but for me, I took it by itself, which is totally fine, you know, I, I enjoyed, you know, just, having that class um to itself and just kind of enjoying like um having it easy <laughs> like relatively easy um with community health so um but it's up to you you know like whether you want to take community with another class or by itself so getting into community um community health um you know it's all about like health of the community and public health um so you have your typical like assignments um you have some ati assignments that you got to do throughout the weeks you have some quizzes um the quizzes are not too bad in my opinion um and then you have your typical like modules um and things like that you do have an rua um which is a group project that you have to do um so it's called a windshield survey so what it is is basically you get into a group and then your group is assigned like an area in your community, in your city. So I live in Houston and so, you know, we have different areas of the city um, that we could go to. So my group, we were selected to go to one particular area in our city. So with my group, um, basically like um, some of the members of our group, we had to go to the actual community itself and like drive there and we basically had to kind of do like a community assessment and we had to take pictures we had to take pictures of different things um different buildings like um like public services buildings and stuff like that just like just pictures of the community what does it look like you know what do the houses look like what are the streets look like food options public services um, schools and things like that and so like members of my group and I like we would go um, to do that and then we had to compile all of that into a PowerPoint and we all had different sections of a PowerPoint that we all had to do um, and then at the very end of the class we presented um, so this windshield survey it requires like for you to really work with your group and like go out and like go out into the community and like you know take pictures and then you know, you gotta make sure that, you know, you follow the guidelines on the RUA to make sure that every part of the assignment is done correctly, you know? So that's the RUA. And I would recommend like definitely with the RUA, you want to get started the sooner, like as soon as possible, like the sooner the better. So for my class, we had um, the RUA, I don't ex I don't exactly remember like when um, the RU the RUA was due like when exactly the RUA was like due like you have to submit it but I do know like we presented them in week eight which is the last week 
Um, so yeah, that's how it was structured for us. I don't know if it'll be the same for other for other campuses out there. But like I said, I would definitely recommend like the sooner you go and just go out and like take your pictures, um, get it done, put all your information together, make sure everybody does their thing, the better, you know. So yeah, and so for community um, exams were not too bad. Um, the CMS was not too bad. I would say like the CMS for community is probably like the easiest CMS that you'll ever take. Um, of course, you can always review like practice questions. Um, you can find practice questions like on Quizlet, for example, like with rationales. Um, you can also, of course, use like the ATI quiz bank, which is really helpful. Um, as I always do, like I always recommend people get like the ATI book and so this is you know this is literally like the smallest ATI book I would say like of all the classes but yeah the ATI book for community um, I got this like really cheap on Amazon um, you can buy these used on Amazon for like really cheap and so yeah it came in very handy you know for the class um, and for the CMS now for clinical um, Clinicals were really, really great. Um, it was a really great experience for us. We actually got to go to a cancer hospital and for our community clinicals, we got to go to the outpatient clinics. Um, and so we were assigned to go to um, like different outpatient clinic, like clinics and we were assigned to go to clinical, um, I think like, I wanna say like, seven, six or seven times. Um, I think we had like one virtual clinical. No, we had two clinicals, two virtual clinicals, one at the beginning and one at the end. And then we had like six um, in-person clinicals, which is really great. Um, and so we got to go to these outpatient clinics and what our instructor actually wanted us to do was instead of us like like alternating um, clinical sites or like the different clinics, we actually had to stay in the same clinic um, throughout the entire time. So it was very interesting. So for me, I was assigned the um, head and neck clinic, um, which is pretty interesting. So it's basically like an outpatient clinic for people who have like head and neck cancers um, or cancer. <clears throat> And so I was in that clinic and every single clinical that I had, I had the same nurse, like the same exact nurse every single time. And the coolest thing was that she had her MSN in nursing education. And so like she worked in the clinic as a nurse, um, but like she would teach me, like she would teach me and explain like everything. And so like, even though like this was community um, class, like, I learned so much about cancer and like cancer care and chemo, um, radiation, immunotherapy, um, you know, surgical procedures, like everything about like cancer. And so I would go with her and we would see patients and she would talk to them and ask the patients questions and stuff. And, and I learned a lot. And I also learned a lot from other people in the clinic too. Like I, I got to, kind of shadow like the registered dietitian. Um, I got to shadow the pharmacist who was there sometimes. Um, and I got to ask questions and learn from them. So it was overall, it was very, very, very interesting. Um, I think I was very, very lucky to get to experience, you know, clinicals like that for for community. Cause like, I was like, this is just community health, but it's it's not just simple, you know, it just, it really depends on what clinicals you have. Um, but yeah, so like for six weeks, I had the same clinical site and the same clinic. Um, and so they got to know me really well. And um, and like I said, I learned a lot. So it was, it was really, really great. I have heard, um, at least from my campus or for our campus, um, some people for clinicals, they go to nursing homes for community health. Um, I don't know why, but that's just how it is for some people. Um, some people got like nursing homes for me. Like I said, I got to go to a cancer hospital, me and my group. So it really just depends on where you go, where they send you. Um, 
you know, but either way, like, you know, you, you have to just make the most of what you have and what you get and try to learn as much as you can. Um, but yeah, these clinicals, I will say though, um, typically when we go to clinicals, um, we have to check off our head to toe assessment. But the thing about community health, and if you go to like an outpatient clinic, um, the thing is, is that you won't necessarily get to check off your head to toe on a patient because these patients have appointments and they come in and out of the clinic relatively quickly. So the thing is, is like you can't have like the instructor come to you and then you do your assessment on a patient. Like it's just not possible or feasible in a clinic setting. Um, so what our instructor made us do, like in order for us to check off our head to toe assessment, which we typically do every clinical session or every um, session, um, what she had us do is she had us um, do an assessment on each other, like me and my classmates. So we got into pairs and we did our assessment like on each other. Um, and so like at one point, like our instructor, she had to find like a classroom for us to go to. And so like we got out early from our clinical and we, we all met in this, you know, classroom and so uh, what we did was um, she made us get into pairs and I did my assessment on my classmates, um, my, excuse me, my head to toe. Um, and so we had to document everything um, or at least, you know, my instructor made us document everything. We, we all did it all at the same time. And like my instructor was kind of walking around the room and she was watching us do our assessments and she made us document like our assessment findings. Um, and then after that, we switched and then my classmate would do the assessment on me and, she, you know, she would or they would assess me and, you know, document everything. And so at the end, we had to submit like our documentation um, and everything. And so our instructor checked us off for our assessment. And so that's how it went for us. Um, that's how like my instructor was able to to check us off for our head to toes. Um, but yeah, so like it really depends on your like your facility and your instructors, like what they're going to do about like getting you checked off on your skills, like head to toe or anything else. But other than that, like I said, community is pretty, it's a pretty easy course, I would say, um, you know, it's a relatively easy course. It's not that bad. You know, of course, you should still still put in your study time and still do your your practice questions and and put in your study time and um but i thought community health was pretty interesting like um i had a great professor who lectured us and she really explained a lot of things to us and and i thought it was really interesting um so yeah overall community health was really great like if you take it by yourself like enjoy enjoy that time to like chill <laughs> like give yourself a break you know if you do take it with another course it's very doable like and, and like i said i would recommend like it's up to you whether or not you want to take community with another class or by itself um but community health is definitely one of those classes like you can take with another class and it's like it's doable it's manageable you know but yeah, but as an update for me, um, I'm right now I'm taking mental health and evidence based. So um, I'm pretty busy and I have a lot of things to do, but it's all it's all going good either way. So um, but I'm here and I'm excited for this new year. Um, this is the year I graduate. So I'm like, yes, like I'm ready. Like nine, eight, nine months from now, I hope to graduate and I hope I can pass my NCLEX on the first try. I'm, that's what I'm aiming for. So I've already started doing like practice questions, like for the NCLEX and stuff, just like passively, you know, like once a week, I'll sit down and do um, practice questions um, for the NCLEX and stuff. Um, but either way, like I'm just doing my usual thing, you know, doing my classes. Um, I have lectures and I have my online class. And so it's kind of like, it feels like before, like a year ago or two years ago, like when I had 
two classes. I haven't had to take two classes at the same time in like the longest time. So it's like, it feels, it feels like old times, <laughs> if that makes sense. I don't know, but, but either way it's good. So I'm doing good, I'm doing great. Um, so yeah, definitely like, don't hesitate to reach out to me, like follow me on Instagram, send me a message um, and I'll try to help you as best as I can. Um, but other than that, this is pretty, pretty quick video and um, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for coming back. And I think we're officially at like 400 subscribers. So that's really great for me. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for all your support. Thank you for commenting, liking, and subscribing. Um, and so thank you guys so much and I will see you guys next time.